YouTube, 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 YouTube. What's up? This is your boy, Original Dog Man John Castro. This video here is about a YouTuber, Big Beard Business. And I don't know if this dude's been talking to Kevin. Well, I know he's been talking to Kevin Samuels because he does podcast or not podcast, but uh, sh videos. I think streams, live streams with him. And um, it's all about this idea of high being a high value man. Poison. That's what it is. It's poison. Now this message isn't for everyone. This message isn't for the masses. This message is just for a few of y'all who see the poison in society. Now, this this video really isn't for big, big, big beard business. I, I don't give a fuck about that, dude. I really don't. Um, I just saw that video on a sidebar. I don't even really watch his videos. But when I seen how to 10 times your high value as a high value man. Um, I was looking at it and I was like, is this a Kevin Samuels gimmick? High value man, high value woman. I really don't have shit else to say about Kevin Samuels. I'm not going to say anything about him in this video because everything I said about that motherfucker has been said. And now, Big Beer Business, I think, wants to jump on that Kevin Samuels bandwagon with Instead of fragrances, now it's how to be a 10 times the high value man. And I wrote the list down of what he said. He didn't give us 10 things. He gave us five. Five things to make you a high value man. Now, these things here are all subjective. It's all subjective. And the one thing that I noticed that he didn't put in his list to make a person high value is God. Is God. He is the only one who can give anyone any value. He is the only one that can give anyone any value. Not some ideology or some some someone made up. Not an uh, someone's opinion, right? That doesn't make you high value. It just make, gives you the idea, your subjective reasoning of what you believe a high value man should be. An opinionated idea. That's all that is. Has no truth behind what he says here. None whatsoever. But let's, let's see what the list says here. Okay, And I'm going to show you why this list contradicts itself and why everything he says contradicts himself. Now he says, number one, be assertive. Number two, knowing what you want. Number three, be a provider. And number four, own your decisions. And number five, know when to say no. Everything in this list is bullshit. And I'm going to break it down for you guys. Be assertive. And then he goes on to say, being assertive doesn't mean you have to be rude or you have to be forceful. Bullshit. Nine times out of ten, being assertive exactly means exactly just that. Forcing your way into a situation, a conversation, a problem. You're practicing how to be a douchebag. You see, it's people like this who are who call themselves assertive that actually force themselves into situations and force people to take their opinions. And their ideas. Though it may be right. Sometimes it may be wrong. Being assertive doesn't make you high value. It just makes you look like a douchebag in front of a lot of people. Now what he should have said was be decisive. You don't assert yourself in a fucking conversation that has nothing to do with you. You don't assert yourself into a problem that has nothing to do with you. Being decisive and offering your decision. And if people don't want to listen, then you walk away. 
And then when the problem arises and then the big wigs see that what you said was right, then they'll come back to you. And that's with you, that's with you, without you offending anyone. See, being assertive in a situation and you force yourself into it, and then they take your opinion right then and there, you piss everyone else off. But if you offer it and you're decisive about your decision. And you say, hey, here's what you could do. Not, hey, this is what you should do. No, that's not how you do that shit. Not in front of people. You don't shame someone. See, asserting yourself into a situation could shame. It's, pro it's problematic. It's problematic. But if you offer your decision into a, into a situation... And if they don't want to take it and you walk away and then the big manager comes back and says, hey, you know, you were right. Better for you. People will see what you've done. If you stay low key. Sooner or later, people will see how valuable you really are. And that makes you even 10 times more valuable when you can walk away from a situation Give your give your decisive opinion and not force your opinion into it. Being assertive is forcing your fucking opinions. That's what being assertive means. You're a douchebag. You're a straight douchebag. Because you're no better than anyone else. See, being assertive means has to partake in you're better than everyone else. This is what the fuck being assertive means, whether you fucking like it or not. Nine times out of ten, that's what being assertive means. I go on about this, but let's go on to number two. Knowing what you want. Really, you think the majority of people in society actually know what they want? Hell, some, most people don't know the difference between subjective moral values and objective moral duties. Most people don't know the difference between right and wrong, good and bad. What the fuck makes you think that most people know what they want? Most people can't even make the decision in life of what they want to be. It's only through inspiration that people know or accidentally make up or, or do what they want to do in life. Through inspiration. Not through anything that you fucking plan out like on a piece of paper. Most people, most scientists that discover shit don't discover shit through the, through the scientific process. They just discover shit accidentally. 99% of the shit that's been discovered or founded has been founded through inspiration, through their inspirations, an aha moment. Not because they made a plan out. Not because they drew a plan out or they did the, they did the scientific process or anything like that, man. It was found accidentally or through inspiration, through a subconscious creator. It's called the aha moment, man. Read up on it. Knowing what you want. Since when the fuck does anyone really know what the fuck they want? And I'm talking about long term. Like really, you really think you know what you want? Some people want to be rich until they become rich. Then they realize that it ain't a normal lifestyle. You have to hide from public. You can't be with the rest of the people. You can't be normal. You can't be like every. You have to act different, be different. The eyes are on you, baby. You really think you want to be rich? No one really wants to. No one really knows what the fuck they want. Unless you have God first. Unless you put God first. And he says, own your decisions. First, you have to understand how to make a decision. And like I said, people don't know what the fuck they want. People don't know the difference between right and wrong and good and bad. It's all a learning process for everyone. Because once you stop learning, that's when you fucking up. Own your decisions. So if I make a bad decision, I have to own it? No. That's not how that works. If you make a bad decision, then you change it. Throw away that decision and make another decision. Don't just eat that shit. That's not how it works. Just like people want to say, people say, this is how karma works. You put out bad, it comes back to you. No, it doesn't have to work like that. If you put out bad, 
Know that you put out bad. Change your ways. And then you can put out good. It doesn't have to come back to you. Because once you change the energy within you, if you put out negative energy, and before that negative energy comes back to you, you change your ways into positive energy, you can take that, that negative energy back into you and push it back out into the world as positive energy. That's how the fuck karma works. If you change, repent, feel sorry for what you've done, and never do it again. You can take all the negativity that people throw at you, take it all in, push it back out into the world as positive energy. That's how karma works. Not eat your crow. Not own your decisions, but change them. Make them better. What the fuck does he mean, own your decisions? And then he says, know when to say no. No, number three is be a provider. First, in order to be a provider, you have to take care of yourself. This is what he says. You have to take care of yourself. Then you can take care of others. That's true. But you forgot to put love. In order to provide for yourself, you have to love yourself first. You have to take care of yourself. You have to keep a clean house. You have to smell good. You have to love yourself. Everything about you must be positive. has to be positive, right? You have to feel good. It says be a provider. But where does love come from? It only comes from God. Because he gives you the free will to love. And the very definition of free will is love. Love is free will. God is love. He's given it to you. And then you can give it out to others. See, he doesn't mention God at all. This is why this message here is from the devil. If you don't put God first in your message... Your message is mute. Your message is null and void, son. And he says, own your decisions. He says, be a provider, own your decision, know when to say no. And then in that video, he says, you don't owe anyone anything. Bullshit. You owe. When you get up in on that ladder and you become status quo, or you become high value in, in according to what society's opinion is of what a high value man is. Motherfucker, you owe. Don't think that you don't owe anything. Don't think that you can go on life without a sacrifice. Without sacrificing something. You see, this is why when many people get up there in life, they lose a loved one. Because they sacrifice their souls to the devil. Instead of sacrificing to God, instead of giving, instead of being selfless, instead of selfish. See, all this high value talk is just another way of getting you guys to sell your souls. That's all it is. It's just another way of selling your soul. Look, man, I've heard some shit about this big beer business. People reach out to him and he don't reach back. People reach out to this dude and he don't reach back. A lot of times, man. A lot of times. If y'all don't see the bias in this shit. And you don't see this dude for what he really is. I feel sorry for y'all. Because y'all really need to peep game. They've had several people that I've known reach out to this dude and he don't reach back. Y'all don't see it. He may only reach back to, to people that are closer to what he has in his subscription list or people that, that are like him, like CJ City TV. He'll reach out to CJ City TV, and he a newcomer. There were other people in this game just as long or maybe longer to try to reach out to Big Bear Business. He don't reach back. I don't reach out to the motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. I'm just making this video to let y'all see his bullshit. This dude isn't a leader. None of these dudes are leaders. This dude follows trend, man. He follows trend. Steven did it. I'm gonna do it. Monkey see, monkey do. All these motherfuckers are monkeys, man. And no, I don't mean that in a racist term because he black. Because you shave the skin off a monkey, that bitch white. 
I'm just saying the mentalities are just like monkeys. Reflex, man. These motherfuckers are reflex. Monkey see, monkey do. Kevin Samuels, high value. Oh, Big Bear Business, high value. Stephen from Red Lessons, Navitu. Oh, Big Bear Business, Navitu. Chaos Frayers, Navitu. Y'all see the trend? The blind leading the blind over the fucking cliff. Hope y'all see that shit. Dogman ain't just talking bullshit. Dogman is talking truth. Yeah, third person. I can talk in third person. But that's the sad thing. It's the sad thing that, that these dudes that are fragcom so-called leaders, not really leaders. They're not anyone to look up to. So why give advice like this, man? You, you read a book. You, Kevin Samuels gave you some, some information in, in whoop de doo You're going to make a video about being high value? You could, you could live in the biggest house. You could have more money than anyone. It doesn't make you high value, man. Jeff Bezos, to me, isn't high value. Money does not make you high value, man. Because if I take any of y'all out there in the jungle, in the forest... Y'all bitches wouldn't be worth shit. Some of y'all can't even fucking swim. Some of y'all don't know how to reload an AK or clean out an AK-47. Motherfuckers, most of y'all wouldn't know how to hold a 1911 or 45. Some of y'all, I know for a fact, many of y'all can't even shoot a pistol. Let a 357 and hit something with it. I know this for a fact. I go to work, my hands are hurting, and I lift up cases. And one of the reasons why it hurts is because I be shooting a high-caliber gun. My hands be hurting, man. I know how to shoot. High value doesn't necessarily mean money, y'all. doesn't necessarily mean grooming or smelling good. There's many aspects in life to being a high value man. Being able to genuinely love your brothers and sisters in society. Trying to anyway. Because faith in humanity is is plummeted, man. And it's people like these who make it worse for people to love their brothers and sisters. It is truly hard already. But people like these make it harder. Because it's all deception. It ain't nothing but a big fucking fat ass facade. So yeah, this video isn't for Big Bear Business. I don't give a fuck whether he comment or whether he see it. I don't give a fuck. This video is for the people who are going to watch Big Bear Business and watch me. So that way they can have a difference of opinion when it comes to a fake ass, bitch ass, high value man. What's more high value? A man who can survive with nothing? Or a man who can survive with everything? Think about that shit for a second, man. Who would you rather be with? Who would you rather learn from? A man who has everything? Or a man who has nothing? Because when the, fan, when the shit hits the fan and the nitty gritty is, is down to the last bit, who the fuck you gonna fucking follow? These motherfuckers don't know shit, man. Don't know what plants to eat. I can take these dudes out. They wouldn't know how to fish, hunt, gather fruits and vegetables, or know what, what plants to eat from. I fucking do. What vine to cut down so you can get water. How to dig for water. How to make a fire in the storm. In the snow? I 
had to make this video. Because many of the people, old and new and young, are going to take a list like this and go out there in the world and try to apply this bullshit. And it will work for some of them. It will work for some of them in today's society. Because there's many sheep out there. There's many, many sheep. And it's, this, this list is like the blind leading the blind. Be assertive. Know what you want. Be a provider. Own your decisions. Know when to say no. Let's go over it again. Being assertive. 99% of the time it's going to make you out of fucking douchebag. Knowing what you want. No one really knows what they want. If you don't understand the difference between subjective moral values and objective moral duties and the, and the differences between right and wrong, good and bad, then you really don't know what you want. Be a provider. You can't be a provider unless you implement God's love. Own your decisions. You don't have to necessarily own your decisions. Because some decisions you make are bad because you don't know what you want. You can change your decisions and know when to say no. He says you don't owe anyone anything. When you get up in status quo, you owe. Y'all remember that shit. You owe. Pay that shit back. You owe. This is when, when you say you don't own anyone anything. That's greed mentality, man. It's selfish, not selfless. There's a difference. When you don't when you don't sacrifice something, the devil will take his due. Why do you think many of these people go up, get up there in, in in the music industry, and then all of a sudden, their loved ones are taken from them. Someone's killed or murdered because they owe the devil his due. And if you get up there and you're selfish, oh, not going to work. But if you're selfless, you're already giving God his 10%. Selfless. Be selfless, not selfish. Or it will be taken from you. See the difference? What God says rings true, man. In every aspect of your life, whether you know it or not. The more positive you become, the more selfless you become, the greater the reward, according to God's will. Not according to this bullshit. Not according to Kevin Samuels, not according to Big Beard Business, and not according to anyone who agrees with this shit. Trust me, man. Become positive. Stop lying to yourself. Do what's right. Not what's just good or bad. Do what's right. If you know what's wrong, do what's right. And you will see a change in your life. A positive change. Not a deceitful change. Not a deceptive change. You will see your emotions change. You will become more content. Much more happier. And much more loving. That's just that. But when you follow a two-step deceitful-ass process like this, without God, you've already lost. I will make another video. I will make another video, and I will show Big Bear Business, and I will stop the video, talk about what he says, and I will expose his bullshit. I will expose his bullshit to you guys. Remember, this video isn't for Big Bear Business. This video is for those of y'all who he is trying to deceive with his bullshit. He didn't put God first. That was my number one. That was my number one qualm. That was my number one thing that I didn't like about that video. And I don't watch Big Bear Business anymore. I just saw it on the sidebar. And it said high value. And I thought, I was like, what is he trying to be? Like Kevin Samuels, is he trying to take that Kevin Samuels route and gain fame like that? 
more subscribers like that because he sees Kevin Samuels doing it. Because they got plenty sheep out there. They got plenty lost sheep and they're trying to find their way. And they're looking towards normal men for, that, for those answers that they're seeking. And when they should be looking towards God. They're looking for a leader. And they're trying to find it in Kevin Samuels and Big Bear Business and whoever. You will never find it. The only thing you will find is losers. Greed. Hungry motherfuckers. I've heard people reach out to Big Bear Business. And he hasn't reached back. Big Bear Business only reach out to certain people. CJ City TV is one of them. Y'all peep game. Y'all gonna see the shit. He don't reach out. He's, he don't owe none of y'all nothing. That's what he said. He don't owe nobody nothing. Watch that video. You don't owe anyone nothing. That's, that's that greed mentality. It's just selfishness. Not selflessness, man. I'm going to say it over and over again. These are the motherfuckers that many of y'all want to be ruling or leading FRAGCOM. Hey, if this is the kind of motherfucker you want to follow, go for it. Go for it. You see all the visuals with him. But what you don't see is the truth. What you don't see is the truth. You see visuals. You see smoke and mirrors. What you see with Big Bear Business is monkey see, monkey do. Steven from Red Lessons, never too. Big Bear Business, never too. Chaos Fragrance, never too. Monica Coach, never too. Or whoever. Galleria Performance, same company. Y'all see a bunch of fucking followers following each other. Quid pro quoing each other. Kissing each other's ass to get where they are. That's what you see. You don't see any truthful motherfuckers. All these motherfuckers are corporate cocksuckers. They accept donations. They get free gifts. My channel, I do my shit legit. I buy my own shit. I don't ask none of these motherfuckers for nothing. Because I don't want nothing from these motherfuckers. Nothing. That's right. I have truth with me. The rest of these dudes and these, these women and these men on here. Got their hand out. If having your hand out accepting free shit. Because they have accepted many free shits. How the fuck are you high value? How the hell do you provide for yourself? When people are pro providing for you. Hmm? Where's the truth in that? I provide for myself, motherfucker. I don't want shit from nobody. I paid for George's shit 100%. He gave it to me free. Gave me back my money. I didn't expect the shit. Everything that I own, I paid for 100%. That's right. And I don't accept free shit. I just don't. Multiple things these people have been given. But they want you to follow them. They want, they want to show you how to be a beggar. That's what they want to show you. How to bend over and open your asshole. You see, these people are owned. They're already owned. They done sold, those, they done sold their sell, souls to the devil. Already. It's your boy original dog, man. If y'all don't see the deception and the bullshit with these motherfuckers, man. I don't know what the fuck to tell y'all. I just don't. I'm going to keep it as real as real can be. That's just that. Period. Big Bear Business, all I got to say to you, man, is fuck your list. Fuck your ideology. And fuck your friend Kevin Samuels where you got it from. And fuck you. Stop feeding poison to the people, man. Y'all motherfuckers full of shit for that shit. Peace the fuck out.